Not a very fun daily news update today. Billy Jack Haynes has confirmed to me today that he is with Rip Oliver, Portland wrestling legend, who also wrestled for WWE many times. He was a regular uh, superstars and enhancement wrestler basically in WWE, but he was a star in Portland, close friend of Billy Jack Haynes. And Billy Jack's taking care of him now, along with his son, Lance, and brother, Jerry, in hospice. So sorry to hear that about Rip Oliver. Billy Jack did want me to let everyone know that the Cauliflower Alley Club donated $2,500 towards Mip, Rip's medical expenses. So Billy Jack Haynes personally wanted to thank B. Brian Blair, who's the president of the Cauliflower Alley Club, for helping with that. It was greatly appreciated by Rip and his close ones. So sorry to hear about that. Billy Jack sent me a picture of Rip with his son and brother and Billy in the hospital. I'll put that up as the screenshot of this video. And another guy that is in the hospital who I have done an interview with, many interviews with actually, is UFC legend Tank Abbott. His wife, who I know, Sally, has stated that he's in the hospital. They don't know what's wrong yet. He's waiting to see his transplant team. Of course, he had a liver and kidney transplant and... A fan asked me about Tank the other day, how he was doing. And the last video I saw of Tank was, I believe, on his Instagram of him actually running up a hill. I know he's been training very hard. He did have a conversation with me not too long ago um, saying that like, he even had hopes of eventually having another MMA fight. Maybe he's pushing himself too much. I guess he's been admitted into the hospital due to intense pain. So let's hope it's nothing too serious with Tank. I really like the guy. He's a nice guy. No matter no matter how controversial you people think he is, um, as a person, I've met a lot of assholes in my life, especially in wrestling. And yes, he was more of an MMA fighter. There's less assholes in MMA but uh, Tank is a nice guy. NXT lost again to AEW. 0.23 NXT had to 0.36 for AEW Dynamite. So nothing really spectacular about either of those ratings. Not too huge a margin, but still over 10 points. So still a pretty dominant victory for AEW. And finally, Ring of Honor has announced their War of the Worlds tour dates, which I know not many people care about because they recently did a show that, according to the Wrestling Observer, even though it was free, they only filled the venue to 60% capacity. They've been having uh, really low crowds in general lately, but they're doing an upcoming War of the Worlds tour with New Japan, and once again, they're not going to Montreal. They've made PCO their champion. And I'm telling you guys, the one town they could actually draw a really good crowd in is Montreal, Quebec, where Quebec people really love their own citizens doing well. And of course, Jacques Rougeau was tag team partners with Carl Ouellette, when Carl won the Ring of Honor title, he got so much publicity within Quebec, but strangely, they're not going to Quebec where they could actually charge for tickets and fill a venue to capacity the same size as the one that they couldn't sell, fill 60% with the free tickets if they would go there at least the first time with PCO as champion. So, Bad business move, in my opinion. Although War of the Worlds, they do those shows with New Japan. So you'll have both Ring of Honor and New Japan fans at the shows. That should help with crowds. However, New Japan 
lately hasn't been getting like two amazing crowds in the US on their uh, their recent tours. And unfortunately, as I've already reported, in Japan, they've actually canceled all their dates up until March 15th because of all these medical problems in New Japan with, I'm not really sure, I haven't really been following the news other than the wrestling news, but there's some, I guess you could say, outbreak in Asia right now. And it might even affect the Olympics that are hap- supposed to happen there this summer if they can't get it contained. Desmond Castro, I think he's being sarcastic. He says, now those are ratings. Mike T, always good to catch a live stream, not absurd boy. Owen Hart's my favorite wrestler. Clinton, look, I really hope that Tank and Rip get better. Well, unfortunately, when you go into hospice care, that's that means you're close to the end. So, like, all you can do is is pray for Rip that uh, he can be crossed over in the, in the nicest way possible. Tank, he's such a fighter. It's it's sad to see him going through this. Anthony Shabbat's his Super Showdown sucked. Didn't see it. Although I am going to look up the Goldberg victory match. I just have not had time. I've been really busy. Dr. Smith X says he loves Tank. Big Richard, is Matt Hardy going to AEW? Uh, I have no idea. As far as I know, he's not actually signed anywhere. He could be hinting about AEW, but remember Randy Orton also hinted about AEW, and it was a it was a tactic to get WWE to offer him a bigger contract. He ended up staying with WWE. Matt Hardy could very well go. I know Jeff. I believe Jeff Hardy was at SmackDown behind the scenes next week. But wrestling is a business, and you would go where you could make the most money in theory as a wrestler unless you're truly miserable. But I believe Matt Hardy has kids. Wouldn't you want to be able to provide for your family the best way possible? I don't know. Wonder what the plans are for The Fiend at Mania. Supposedly, there's talk that it'll be him against John Cena. The Real Frisco says he lost to a great. Now, if he lost to a jobber, yeah, be mad. That's regarding The Fiend. Or Bray Wyatt. As I said, I personally don't understand the character because I don't want to sit through a whole WWE program regularly to understand it, but he's Bray Wyatt. He's the fiend. I think one of them is baby face. One is a heel when he's wearing the stupid rubber mask. He's a heel. Um, it's very goofy. I don't understand it at all. So I personally think it's stupid as a casual viewer. There might be some children that like it because it's cartoonish, but we've seen that the WWE audience is actually made up mainly of adults. Kids, for the most part, are not watching wrestling as much these days. Whatever happened to Rob Terry from TNA, I have no idea. He was a bodybuilder type. Original Weiss says Bray Wyatt is boring. It's lame. I agree. It is lame. I fully agree with you. It's lame. All right. Well, once again, two days away, Smith Falls, Ontario, February 29th. I'm going to wrestle amateur style against a female bodybuilder slash fighter. There's going to be Bianca Corelli, Santino's daughter on the card, Lufisto, the Faces of Fear, Haku and Barbarian, Scorpio, the Blood Hunter, Jeremy Prophet, Sexy Eddie, Carl LeDuc from the famous LeDuc family. It's going to be a packed card. Nine matches. Galipo Center Theater. More information at thehannibaltv.com. If you don't know where Smith Falls is, it's near Kingston, Ottawa, Cornwall. If you live in the area, you should go for the meet and, meet and greet alone because you never know. Have the, when have the Faces of Fear been here together? since ever since barbarian was in wwe 
chances are it's a rare meet and greet opportunity. Tickets start at 1550 and 2050 in advance, ticketpro.ca. But you also get nine matches. The show is going to be filmed for two TV stations as well as the Hannibal TV. So it's a huge card. I'm really looking forward to it. There's also going to be a six-man tag team match on the event. And by the way, if you can't make it to the show and you want anyone on the show's autograph, it is $20 plus $5 shipping if you live in the U.S., or Canada, email greatnorthwrestling at gmail.com if you want Haku, Barbarian, Scorpio, etc.'s autograph. We will hook you up. So thank you very much. Big Richard says GNW, GNW, GNW. So we'll close at that. I actually have to go to Montreal tomorrow, speaking of Montreal. Bye.